Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Just before I start this video, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Giles, uh, the Vagon 101, for sending my care package to me. Uh, completely by surprise. I only contacted him about getting hold of some scope stickers. And uh, next minute this lot turned up. Uh, chuffed to bits really. FX Chrono, FX Pellets in 22177, self adhesive targets, um, cleaning pellets and a lovely uh, Aegon 101 cap. So thank you Giles, very well received, very much appreciated, thank you mate. Afternoon everyone. It's uh, Sunday the 12th of July, just out on my farm permission today, lovely beautiful day, just a little bit of wind, 22 degrees, perfect really, uh, just after lunch time, I've come out in the afternoon for a few hours, I'm just using my hide that I've left set up here for the last sort of about four weeks ago, four or five weeks ago I built it, it gives me a view out over the farm and the buildings. Um, they're just all over the place they're so used to it now that they just come flying in and land five six yards away on the ground it's ridiculous really in fact there's one just landed on the gate about 10 yards away in front of me there look see it by that post so um it's like it's paying off anyway leaving it in situ rather than keep setting a pop-up hide up and not not having them come in so just got the rapid today again my farmyard gun picked up a nice nutshot silencer for it you know anything about rapids, they're quite a well-known old silence, are quite collectible really. Um, it's deadly quiet, I fitted a hammer with a silent pip as well. So it just, it just makes a little pop noise, it makes nothing really. Um, it's great for being in the farm. I'm just going to see if I can have a crack at that jackdaw on that post. But it looks like um, all the jackdaws have come in. The young jackdaws are fledged and they're in. They're everywhere they are. Um, okay. I'll get shooting. See you in a bit. Alright, first one appeared behind me. I just happened to look over my shoulder and managed to spin round and get that one off the uh, pen behind me. So uh, this uh, this hide's working really well, to be honest. Uh, now it's been left in situ for a few weeks. Next one, uh, this posts at 50 yards. Um, no wind whatsoever. So I'm just using... Uh, Two mil dots to hold over and take him off the top of that. I've done some practice shots before towards it so I know exactly what to do. So now I'm watching the uh, watching the coming again on the post, lots of jack doors. And then uh, just I was just working out how far away that one was with the posts and then uh, he lands in front so take that one as a bonus as you can see it's only five six yards in front of me um, and the landing so they're quite used to the hide not bothering at all that one's at 25 yards on that post the posts are 25 35 and 45 yards now this one's up on the roof to my left which can be a bit of an issue because when you shoot them and then they die on the roof the uh, all the others stop coming round so uh, I can't do anything about it because I can't reach it to get it off there so it has to stay up there but it stops them landing on the roof after that next one on the wall as you can see they're everywhere pop that one off and this is how it was all afternoon really just thought I'd show you the, uh, the amount that was there this is what you're dealing with there it's just uh, unbelievable to be honest there's all the Probably most of them are youngsters from this year, so it's boom time for the crows and the jackdaws. Poor farmer ain't got a chance. Our next one's dead in front of me. He's at uh, 25 yards on that wall, just above the cattle. And off he drops, no problem. Another one again. 
is just a little bit further on the next post which might about 30 yard zero on that post down he goes and once again I've got another one in front of me about six yards away I wish I'd have built the hide there sooner to be honest because uh, it's really paying dividends in fact it's getting to the point towards the end where I uh, had that many dead ones laying about in the pens that were starting to not land there's another one on the wire between two that's at about 30 yards which is on the zero which is not a problem now this next one I forgot my zeros there so here's me holding over one and a half mil dots for it I'm wondering why I'm not hitting it and I just cannot seem to grasp the fact that it's only 35 yards away and it only needs like half a mil dot and the, what it is is because that post on the right next to it is is around 30 it's just over between 30 and 35 yards away the one on the left is about 40 yards away and in my head I've got the 40 yard uh, holdover so finally reality dawns after reloading about four times and then I realised that it's actually just under half or around half a mil dot so this time I get it right and there it goes I'd just like to thank it for its patience it was uh, very understanding of it to sit there and wait for me while I sorted myself out and got me brain in gear gone pretty quiet now um, problem is I've got dead jackdaws in virtually every pen <laughs> out there um, there's one on the roof up there so starting to struggle to get them to come in and sit down there so what I might do is decamp to my other hide which is in the hedge down there I have a few hours open the pinging off the uh, power lines so I'm gonna pick up what I can they're not going in with the cows, so the farmer just said leave them if they're in there and they'll sort them out when he scrapes the, scrapes the pens out. Uh, so I'm going to get, get shifted and move down to the wires. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Towards where the car was and I just noticed this young jackdaw just perched on the corner of the roof. Very young one looking at his beat. So I just sort of leant around the corner and uh, took probably one of the easiest shots of the day but they all add up so now I'm down by the power lines in my hedge hide the last couple of hours it went very quiet so I've taken a crow there and then uh, obviously all hell breaks loose and all the nosy neighbours come trundling in to see what's going on kicking off but not landing I do try and hold on after I've shot one just in case they do come in to have a bit of a look and on this occasion it turns out to be a load of collared doves turn up to have a look but obviously as we know now they're off the menu they were taken off the general license this year so you can't shoot collared doves so I hang on for about another 45 minutes or so and this one lands I'll take my time with him because I can ping the wire from there so I know I'm actually bang on my crosshair so back of the head take him with a headshot and just hang on when the Ferrari starts just in case another one comes into land which he does because they don't like it and square up on him and down he goes as well there we have it, not a bad little day really, that hide's really paid off, so hopefully it should be a lot more productive in the future. And the farmer's asked me to do a bit of ratting for him now, so hopefully that'll be in a new video soon. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. And until next time, take care.
good shooting see you soon thanks for watching bye for now